Hey guys, Ross Ramsey here. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of my 2017 F450 with an any level in 30s. Alright guys, so here it is. So it's a 2017 F450. Uh, on the uh, chassis, there's just over 27,000 miles. Uh, on the uh, new motor setup, there's just under 2,200 miles. So I'll walk up on it, I'll lift it up so you can see the uh, beautiful frame. It was a frame-off build. It is front clipped to a 2020 F450 front clip. And then... We do have the uh, matte black wrap that uh, sets it off. You uh, you don't see it that good in the shadows, which I like, but when the sun hits it, you can definitely tell that it is there. Let me open the interior, and then let's lift this up. All right, so now she's at ride height, which is right at 14 inches. I'll start with the shoes. Uh, Chris at JTX um, totally hooked it up with some 30 by 16 super singles up front. Uh, it does have the uh, floaters on them, uh, black spikes, polished lip, uh, brush windows, or excuse me, brush face, black windows. Uh, JTX inlays are in black. Uh, Zach at BCC and Lacey absolutely went off on it. Uh, couldn't be more pumped about how the wheels came out on this here you go into the frame you can see it's all a beautiful black powder coat with blue flake it actually matches the uh, paint to the uh, exterior of the truck brushed overlays on the any level king coilovers which come on all any levels you can see the billet oil pan right there everything is powder coated um, Zach, once again at BCC, just put on the uh, any level center cradle right there, which completes it. You can uh, tell it combines the four link and makes it have more of a universal look to it. So in the rear, this is where this truck, um, to me, is kind of sets it apart from the rest. So it has a three inch spacer in the rear, and there's not many dualies that are running the 30s with the uh, true 42 1650s in the rear uh, this one is so uh, she is a big girl uh, from all angles uh, has one hell of a stance has in my opinion one of the best stances out there in a dually that's uh, one thing that really uh, is appealing to me with this setup so the uh, tires are 42 1650 30 furies all right uh, which everyone knows those are hard to get right now so that was not an easy task, but uh, once again, Zach and Chris uh, totally helped me out, and we got it done. Let me walk to the other side. Mirrors are all painted to match. We painted all the plastics. I mean, look at these plastics. I'm, they're, they're sanded so damn good that, I mean, they look like paint. Um, and that, that was a big shout-out to uh, Hunter over at Precision and Granberry. He did all the paint work on this truck, and I think he totally killed that. Uh Painted headlights, I mean, all plastics, uh, all painted, antenna, uh, bed caps, I mean, you name it, this truck um, has gotten painted, uh, bed caps, here, I'll show you the back, bumper, I mean, look how, look at the plastics on the bumper, just completely smooth, no texture, not even a hint of it in the sun, full polish exhaust. So it is a five inch turbo back exhaust, fully polished. Has the bags in the rear. That comes on all standard any levels for F350 Dually and 450 Dually. These any level kits are DOT rated uh, to haul. Uh, painted uh, trim pieces on the amp steps. Let's go into the interior. Beautiful black uh, platinum interior full moonroof 
painted the door seals right here gloss black all the trim pieces gloss black classy just a very very classy way we did this truck full screen 12 inch screen this truck has four tins under the seat crank it up car audio Once again, rear pieces all painted. You can see the door pieces painted. Uh, I mean, the truck, in my opinion, is is now completely done. It was already a, a badass when we uh, bought it from Ryan Starr, as a good friend, and uh, we just put our own little spin on this. And uh, um, to me, it's 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 a one on one, in my opinion, of course. But I think it is a one on one, and you can see now the light hitting this in the shop. So now let's go to the goodies under the hood. Let me walk around here, lower this thing down. So a lot of people see a big truck all the money and suspension here honey we hold this for me oh, do you need a lever? no so a lot of people see a big truck and you know they're thinking well they put all their money into the suspension the wheels and all that and under the hood it's exhaust intake and a tuner right that's what sets this one apart is this right here so it's a midwest stage two block uh, no limit precision uh, setup. So two precisions, one in the valley, one on uh, the compound side. Uh, catch cans, no limit catch cans. Fully built internals all the way down to the block. Fully built tranny. Um, it's rated for 1,300 horsepower. Um, everything that you could think of in this motor is done from injectors to rods. Um, it's all there. Like I said, fully built tranny. It's rated at 1,300 horsepower. Uh, Clay Stewart at uh, Stewart Diesel Performance uh, tuned it right at 1,000, and uh, she will get down. Trying to give you all angles of this, guys. Everything's polished. Nothing was uh, done halfway. Ton of no-limit components in this. This is definitely my favorite part of the truck and what really got me going in uh, making the purchase from uh, Ryan. So here, I'll show you the stance. So it's fully up in the rear, fully down in the front. So yeah, that's her. All right. I want to give um, some people credit where it's due on this. Uh, Clay Stewart at Diesel, or excuse me, Clay Stewart at Stewart Diesel Performance. He built this truck uh, from the frame up. So uh, frame off once again. He did uh, everything on it uh, from the kit to the motor. Um, fully built the truck and uh, absolutely killed it. So uh, shout out to Clay on that. The uh, powder coat was all done by BCC Zach. Uh, shout out to Zach on this. Um, all the paint work was done uh, majority by uh, Hunter over at Precision in Granbury, Texas. Absolutely did a stellar job. And uh, had some other stuff painted uh, by Calouette Customs, uh, Jonathan. So shout out to him. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm very about bringing business to local businesses and especially friends. So everyone I just mentioned is a very good friend of mine. And I'm glad they had a hand uh, in this and also a shout out to Lacey, uh, Lacey Blair on uh, helping with the wheels and um, really taking care of me on this. It was a great experience. I did not build this truck, not claiming to build this truck, uh, but I did throw my own flair on it and uh, it's everything I thought it could be. And once again, I want to give everybody thanks on that. Um, the truck is going to be leaving here soon, so this is kind of the final video of people who've seen it. 
and hadn't really got got to uh, go through it in great detail. So that that's her. Once again, thanks everybody. Everyone played a, a big role in this. Uh, it was very fun to, uh, for me to add on to this truck. As I stated earlier, uh, Ryan Starr already built the truck with clay. I didn't build this. This was uh, strictly just add-ons to uh, make it more my style. So, uh, came out killer. I'm honestly uh, kind of sad to see this one go, uh, but it is what it is. So, Kenny, uh, you're getting a bitchin' truck. Uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, like our page. Comment uh, anything you would like. We'll get back with you and. Uh, Keep following us. See ya.